Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about an unusual galaxy far far away known as Hoag's Object. We're actually in a system inside of this galaxy right now and today I'm going to talk about the mysteries of this galaxy and in other words I'm going to explain that we kind of unofficially know nothing about it. Welcome to What The Math. So first of all, this is the view that you would get from uh, the outskirts of the Hoag's object. Now let me tell you, or let me explain to you what those outskirts mean. I'm going to actually uh, fly away from here. Take a look at Hoag's object from the outside, just to show you why it is a very unusual galaxy and why scientists today are still scratching their heads trying to explain what's happening here. Now, Hoag's object, as you're about to see, is a ring with a little circle in the middle. It kind of looks like an eye, actually. Unusually, though, um, this ring has very, very peculiar properties. The, I guess the biggest mystery here, or the biggest property that we can't really explain, is that the middle, the center here, seems to actually be really old. Like, we're talking about stars that are billions of years old. In other words, this is sort of like the old part of this galaxy. Then there is nothing. It's complete darkness. And on the outskirts here, we have these young blue stars that are only a few million years old. A lot of them are really hot, a lot of them are very energetic, and are spewing out lots and lots of energy. So we have these two very unusual regions with a third region that's completely empty, or practically empty. And because of this, this galaxy as of today makes no sense to us. We can't really explain its origin, we can't really explain uh, what's inside this black ring in the middle, and we also can't really understand how these galaxies form, because as we discovered over the last two years, there is more than one. As a matter of fact, these form the so-called Hoag-like objects, Hoag-like uh, galaxies. Uh, they're different from a typical ring galaxy that usually is relatively easy to explain. Uh, normally, if a galaxy has a ring, it's because it um, experienced a collision. Uh, a large disk-like galaxy would uh, form a ring if a smaller galaxy passed basically through the middle, kind of like a bullet, and uh, would form this ring that you see here. But normally, when this occurs, the center and the outskirts have very different velocities. But for Hoag-like objects, the speeds are the same. Basically, here, this galaxy is one piece. Now, if you were to look at this from planet Earth, it actually uh, looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit more like this. And this was originally discovered by um, the scientist by the name of Arthur Hoag back in 1950. When he looked at this galaxy, he basically scratched his head and decided not to even try to explain it. I mean, he tried, but he wasn't really successful. And for the past, uh, I guess, 70 years, we've been trying really hard to try to understand this. Every single year, there's a paper that comes out that tries its best to find ways to explain what's going on here and how this occurred. But as of July of 2018, no one succeeded. Um, and every single time, every year, there's a paper that tries to involve aliens. As a matter of fact, the so-called um, super intelligent aliens that are capable of basically modifying galaxies that may have created this as a kind of an arts project. And obviously, um, this would make for a pretty cool science fiction story, but there is no obvious uh, evidence of any of this happening. However, one interesting explanation could be actually dark matter. Once again, the mysterious dark matter that we haven't really discovered yet. But we know that dark matter resides on the outskirts of galaxies, usually. Normally in the so-called halo of a galaxy. And this could potentially explain how these new uh, stars start forming on the outskirts. Because it really doesn't make sense otherwise. Why is it that we suddenly have this explosion of these beautiful blue stars everywhere on the outskirts? Um, and nothing right here. But once again, that's just a hypothesis, not really an explanation, and it will probably be decades before uh, we find another such galaxy, maybe closer to us, because this one is like 600 million light years away, very, very far away, um, before we can attempt to explain this. So let's maybe not speculate too much, 
but instead go inside right in the middle of this ancient part of this hoax object and basically take a look at a star there and maybe uh, take a look at some of the planets there as well. We started on a planet uh, or near a planet on the outskirts and now let's go in to the actual center. And as you can see, it's actually extremely bright here. These stars, even though they're ancient, uh, they're still quite energetic. They produce quite a lot of energy. I may have to reduce luminosity here a little bit. Um, and we're going to go and find a star very close to the center just to see what it might look like. And while I'm looking for a star and a planet to explore, and I think I'm going to actually maybe try this one. I'm pointing at it right now. What do you guys and girls think? What do you think happened here and how was this object formed? Now, obviously, aliens might be the most interesting explanation, but, but I think most scientists today would actually prefer to have an explanation that involves credible science. Anyway, so what do you think? How do you think this object formed? How do you think that ring was formed? Why is it that the ring is so much younger than the inside? All of these questions will definitely have an answer one day. Today, though, we still don't know, even though we've studied this for about seven years. And look at that, I've discovered uh, a system that has two ring planets, and actually, uh, both of them look absolutely marvelous. The actual view from them is also very remarkable, and as you can see, there's definitely a lot more stars in the night skies here than there is from planet Earth. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do in this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share this video with someone who enjoys learning through video games, and consider supporting this channel on Patreon. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. As always, bye-bye.